Okay, so um, I've been sitting here meditating and coming to the conclusion that uh, um, uh, planet Earth needs to put out a distress call to the galaxy because planet Earth um, has got uh, too many problems that cannot be resolved by planet Earth. And the biggest problem on planet Earth is um, we have inner child trauma problem. And it's been passed down uh, like a curse from generation to generation to generation to generation to generation to generation. Uh, the curse is trauma. It goes back generations to times when um, people were um, starving because there wasn't enough food. It goes back generations to um, uh, oligarchy where there were most people were peasant farmers and um, the king and his noble families um, owned everything and uh, told the rest of the population what to do. In essence, the rest of the population were slaves. We have got um, an unbelievably large um, background of war. Generations and generations of humans lost many members of their family due to war and then uh, because the wars went on where the people lived um, there wasn't enough food so people had war, far starvation and disease and the main way that people um, dealt with the problem was alcohol that's what they had back in those days they had alcohol and they had opium and if you look back in human history uh, there were wars over who controlled the opium supply why did people take opium because um, it was an escape from this horror of this world that's pretty much it opium and alcohol And um, so, from generation after generation, um, humans got used to taking opium and alcohol to deal with the fact that their lives were miserable. And um, today, well, what do people have? Um, huge problems with alcohol. And we have an unbelievably bad opiate situation where all kinds of people are taking opiates every day and um, we have an unbelievable number of people who are um, overdosing on opiates. So um, that's the status of the planet. Our job is to cure ourselves of opiate addiction and alcoholism our job is to cure ourselves of um, having um, elites who own everything and keep us as slaves. That has got to be um, removed. So we have a need for love because um, all of these things that happen happened in previous generations because there was a total absence of love on planet earth no love zero zero love for one another which means there was zero love for each individual person for themselves and that's why they took to drink and they took to opiates.
So that in a nutshell is what's going on on planet Earth right now. And very few people want to deal with that problem. Very, very, very few people. Everyone knows that everyone drinks too much and everyone does too many drugs and they go to the doctor to get more and more different kinds of drugs and then the bodies get diseased and they go back to the doctor because they need to get more operations for cancer, heart disease, um, kidney failure, liver failure, dementia, um, herniated discs because your backbone breaks down because um, your uh, body is uh, toxic because you are filling it with drugs and alcohol. And you're also um, overeating. The response to um, past generations uh, starving is if you've got food now, you eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and you don't know why you eat so much. It's like you just, if you uh, sit down and then you go over, how many times did I go to the fridge today? How many times did I go to my liquor cabinet today, my beer fridge? How many times did I go to a medicine cabinet? All of these things are your coping mechanisms for the fact there is zero love on the planet for you. Zero. Your boss doesn't love you. Your customers don't love you. Your family doesn't love you. Your spouse doesn't love you. And your children don't love you. And your government doesn't love you. And then what do you do? Well, you're putting on a lot of weight because um, you keep eating. You can't stop eating. Or you've recognized you've got a weight problem and then you become someone who's addicted to working out at the gym. You work out at the gym so much that uh, after you're done at the gym, you head straight to the bar or go home and you hit your liquor cabinet as a reward for working so hard. Or you're a weekend um, drunk. Because you're, you're miserable and your spouse looks at you and says, um, I can't stand you this way, you better have a drink so you'll get into a better mood. So, what happens? Um, well, um, before you start drinking, uh, you're in a bad mood. And that's why your spouse told you, you better have a drink. Because I can't stand you in this mood. But your children see you all the time. If you're sober, you're mean and you are one moment happy birthday or Merry Christmas okay and then you terrorize your children because you go like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde one moment you're you know pleasant and happy and calm and then when this pin drops you turn into a monster. Sometimes you're not drinking, and sometimes you are drinking. It doesn't matter. I never know, as a child, when you're going to lose it on me. So um, the children are brutalized from the time they're very young. And by the time they figure out, well, how do your parents deal with when they're not feeling well, they drink and do drugs. So very young children, monkey see, monkey do, and they get into drinking and drugging. And there's all kinds of pressure on the children. you got to do really good at sports in some families. That's all we care about is um, you have got to do really good at sports. Or in other families, it's you got to get the top marks in your school. Or other children, it's, um, I don't give a flying fuck what you do. Get the fuck out of my house. They're abandoned by their parents. So, 
and that's what we're facing on planet Earth. And uh, the other thing that people do is um, they watch um, Netflix. It's pretty much replaced regular television. And what do people watch on Netflix? <sighs> Drama and um, horror and uh, thrillers. And um, basically all it is is humans who are inhuman to other humans. It's a total reflection of planet Earth. No one watches anything other than people constantly fighting and backstabbing one another. That's all they watch. And even in the comedy is based upon fighting and bitching one another out. And then you've got a laugh track that you're supposed to laugh at these people because they're horrible to one another. And you're all addicted to watching these Netflix, you power binge all this shit. And it's just dysfunctional people. So the people around you are dysfunctional. And then you turn on the TV and it's dysfunctional people. So what do we celebrate here on planet Earth? Celebrities. We worship celebrities. We know more about celebrities than we knew about um, anything. Celebrity, celebrity, celebrity. Either they're Hollywood celebrities and we know everything about what's going on with every Hollywood celebrity, music celebrities, and sports celebrities. And for some people, just some people, uh, political celebrities. But, you know, you go um, and get your groceries and it's all, uh, you know, in your lineup there, it's all magazines about celebrities. You don't know much about your neighbors, but you know everything about celebrities. So I got my beer hat on again because that's basically the um, end of my story. We love alcohol so much that we forget what we do. We black out when we're drinking alcohol. And uh, then we find out the next day, um, do you remember what you did last night? I don't know. Went to the bar, I can't remember. Um, well, somebody might tell you, you see this black eye? You punched me. I'm your best friend, and you punched me because you got too drunk. Or, um, where's your wife, or where's your girlfriend? They went home with someone else because you were such an asshole they couldn't stand you. Don't worry, the person they went home with them is an alcoholic too, and, you know. So, um, I can't even get to the, the point where I start telling you what you need to fix you. Because it's taken me 15 minutes just to describe the horrible situation on planet Earth. Because it's not just in your community, it's on every community on the whole flippin' planet. Generational curses of lack of love. What are you going to do about it?